you don't have good footwork, you probably don't have good balance, you don't have good mobility, and that means um, your stand-up's going to be horrible. And so the footwork and, and the stance is the foundation. Uh, I usually stand southpaw. If you're orthodox, uh, everything's opposite. So I stand in this position and ha hands up here. Always keep the hands up. Um, my feet, I don't want them in line with each other like this. I just, I, I don't have any mobility here. Uh, my front leg, I'm, I'm vulnerable to getting uh, leg kicked and being uh, taken down. Um, I, I can't do much with my back arm. It's hard to punch that way. And I don't want to be standing this way because uh, the center of my body is exposed, my groin, my solar plexus. My, uh, there's a lot of areas that are uh, more susceptible to attack. So you want to adopt a position somewhere in the middle of those two extremes. So I put one leg in front. My legs are still kind of wide, and I'm, I'm like this. My back foot's about 45 degrees. My front foot's pointing, uh, pointing towards my opponent. And hands up high in front of the, the chin, and the elbows are down to protect the body. I have a, a slight crunch forward because I, I want to hide my chin. And if someone tries to punch me, I want to be able to slip and weave and have things deflect off my shoulders and bounce off the top of my head. I don't want anybody to land something clean. Um, the other thing to remember is, yes, uh, I can be hitting the groin here. If I were standing sideways, my groin would probably be a little safer but I'd be sacrificing too much mobility. So you just, you just have to be watching for it. And if a kick comes, you can try to lift your leg this way. In mixed martial arts, and, or actually in any sport, any combat sport, it's illegal to hit to the groin. On the street, in self-defense, uh, you gotta be a little more careful. You might, you might narrow your stance up a little bit more, depending on the situation. But uh, for competition, you should probably stand a little more square. That way you can punch with either hand with, with power. You can use both hands, you have better mobility, you can check leg kicks, you can uh, defend takedowns. Okay, so the footwork, there's, there's two stages that I show. The first one is just the way we step. The second stage is if we just go faster and it's more of a shuffle. It's, uh, it would look like more the way you should move around a ring or a cage. Um, stepping, if I move to my left, my left foot moves first. So I go from double shoulder width with my feet to a little wider and then my right leg follows and then I, I go back to shoulder width again. So what I'll do is, if I move to my left, I go left first, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And I'm, I'm making little steps now. It's kind of easy to practice that way. Left, right, left, right, left, right. If I want to move to the right, I step with the right first. So I go right and then I bring the left back in to go back to my normal stance. I step with the right, get a little bit wider, close it back up. Right, left, right, left, right, left. That way. If I want to go forward, you push off the back foot and you step with the front leg first. So you go front leg, back leg. Front, I'm sorry. Front leg, back leg. Front leg, back leg. Front leg, back leg. If I go backwards, I push off the front foot and I step with the back foot. Back, front, back front, back, front, and make sure you're not doing this. So a drill we do in class is we're going to go four left, four right, four back, and four to the front. Always making sure that our feet never come in line and we're not bringing our feet together. So I'm standing like this, I'm going to get knocked over very easily. If I'm standing this way, I can get knocked over. I can't attack. So we want to keep our feet uh, apart the entire time. So here we go. One, two, Three, four. I'm taking little steps because I don't want to move out of the camera. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go forward because I'm running out of room. One, two, three, four. And then back. One, two, three, four. That way. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That way. And always remember legs wide, 45 degree on the back foot, toes facing forward, hands up high, elbows in. Now, if we go quicker so that I don't move out of the camera, I'm just going to do two left, two right, two forward, and two back. I'm going to do a shuffle. So we, now we're just doing this quicker 
and, and, and with shuffling instead of stepping. So I'm going to start a little bit off center. If I go to the left, I, again, I push off the right and step with the left first. One, two. If I go to the right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Shuffling, I just, this way. Notice my legs don't cross. I'm not going to trip trip myself. That way. This way. And uh, this is a good way to warm up before class. This is the kind of footwork you should be doing when you're doing your you're doing your bag work. See, I'm taking little angles now. Just adding to the foundation. This way. So practice that, right? Get in the mirror, practice going left, right, back, forward. Take some little angles. Do it when you're shadow boxing. Do it when you're doing your bag work and, of course, when you're sparring. And uh, I hope that helps you out. Thank you.